So I woke up this morning knowing that it was going to be a beautiful sunny day and it's Sunday, it's my one day off this week and I had a very challenging week. I was teaching two little German children and I was teaching them English which is something that I don't do so much of nowadays and I just have one client who brings over lots of clients, lots of children and adults from Germany and Italy for lessons and a few times a year I do intensive courses and they always go very very well. I always get very good feedback and this is why I've been asked back to do this teaching for so many years. On this occasion it wasn't quite as easy as usual so I was teaching two little children nine and ten years old and they didn't really want to be there. Um, brother and sister, they were very silly, rolling around the floor and not really listening and it was a massive, massive challenge for me. And I actually took it a little bit personally at points. So it was a very huge learning for me. And it was six days, three hours a morning. So a lot of English time for them as well. A lot, a lot for their attention spans. And by Thursday, everything came to a head. And the children were really playing up. So I had to, well, I almost admitted defeat actually. I had to go and speak to the organiser and say they're being very naughty. And in the end, we came up with the very, very good idea of just taking them to the park. So the last two days, in the middle of the lessons, after about an hour and a half, that's what I did. I took them to the park. Now, in this instance, I could have admitted complete defeat and said, right, that's it. I put my hands up in the air. I'm not doing this. At these moments, we always have this choice. We can give up or we can face the challenge and we can decide to become even better at what we do. We can decide to put in that little bit more effort to really actually create huge benefits for everyone. So this was my opportunity and I think in every challenge a very good question to ask yourself is what's the opportunity here? Because there's always a massive opportunity and for me it was become a better teacher more patient, more understanding, and to see it from their perspective. Now, if you're learning something you don't enjoy, then the teacher needs to understand that and make changes accordingly. And that's what I had to do. I had to make it even more fun. And yes, they were enjoying it at moments. So that was my big challenge this week. Now, actually, a change in mindset wasn't that easy. There were lots of things I did this week to become a little bit more, a bit stronger mentally. And one of them was yoga and the other one was meditation. Now when I'm feeling stuck, it always helps me to put things into perspective by letting go of my mind and doing something totally different. So for me that's always about going for a run, doing yoga, doing meditation. It's about clearing my head and um, when you can clear your head and get rid of all those thoughts, then it puts things into perspective. Now I have an opportunity for you. So next weekend, the 14th to the 16th, I'm actually speaking at a festival in Oxfordshire. It's a three-day festival and there is yoga, there's meditation, there are lots of different forms of workshops and personal development there, 80 in fact which is a lot to cram into three days. So if you're open to this idea of clearing your mind and doing something completely different to help you to attain that new level of positivity and that new level of enjoyment from life, then I would suggest coming along. So as I said, I'm doing two workshops, three hours on Saturday and three hours on Sunday. So it's Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning. The festival is for the whole weekend, so you can come along, pitch a tent, or you can go and stay in a nearby hotel or bed and breakfast, or you could just come for the day. And it's really very, very good in terms of price. I think it's something like £60 for a ticket. But anyway, I'm going to put a link to this below this video. And if you can't make next weekend, but I'm also speaking at a yoga retreat in November. And these are both amazing opportunities for you to come and meet me face to face and go through some of my teachings 
And again, the yoga retreat will be a wonderful experience. It's a, it's a weekend, the first weekend of November, and the links are below. So my challenge for you is to see opportunities rather than problems, and to think outside the box, to think laterally about the things that you can do to make you mentally stronger, so that you can cope with these kind of challenges in a better way. Because life is never going to get easier. All that you can do is become stronger.